morning everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Eric Greaves Outdoors. On today's episode, we're headed north. We're going walleye fishing. If you guys watched the last video, I did mention to you guys that I was hoping to get out this weekend. Today is Sunday. I am headed out. We are going walleye fishing. I've got the sled on back. I got the horses in the back. Towing that behind us, so stick with me, stay tuned. We're gonna be mobile today. Hopefully that's going to allow us to get on some fish. Got a little bit later of a start this morning. I did uh, sleep in a little bit, but that's all right. Current time check, 9.22 a.m. A late start's better than no start, in my opinion. We're just on the 400 here. We're headed up. We're just driving through Barrie. We're going to stop, grab some bait. Then we're headed north. We're hitting up the lake. Hopefully one of my buddies, Keegan, will be out later today with us. I was talking to him last night. He said he was going to go and target some whitefish this morning. So here's hoping he got on some whitefish and he's going to come meet up with us and hopefully crack some walleye later today. All right, guys, we're just about uh, just about to the bait shop here. So I'm going to set the camera down and we'll see you guys when we get back on the road. Cheers. We're back. We got minnows. Stopped at the bait shop in Barrie. Our friend Ron over at True North Outfitters in Barrie hooked us up with some minnows. We're back on the highway, headed up the road, going to the lake. We'll be there in about half an hour. Current time check, 9.46 a.m. We'll be there just after 10 o'clock. We're hoping to hit the afternoon bite, evening bite. So, you know, like I said earlier, a little bit later of a start to today's video, but that's okay. Hopefully we're going to get on them. Uh, riding solo today, so just me. Like I just mentioned to you guys, Keegan might meet up with us later out on the lake. So stick with me, stay tuned for that. Here's hoping he can make it out. Um, yeah, that's it. Hey everyone, we have made it to the lake. We're here at the access. Um, got the truck parked. We're going to get geared up get loaded up and uh, head out onto the lake. Hopefully we got about, I don't know, it's over a kilometer ride out. It's really not that far to walk, but uh, I felt lazy this morning, so we brought the sled. So we're gonna be set up and fishing here shortly. Stick with me, stay tuned. Hopefully we can get on some uh, decent walleye bite here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get you guys set up on the tripod. We'll do a little time lapse of me getting ready to head out onto the lake. I don't have, a proper toboggan and hitch to tow with my sled today. My plan is to stop on the way home and pick one up as I kind of have a big trip planned for later this week, this upcoming weekend. So stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna give you guys any details at the current moment, but uh, we need to be properly set up for that trip as we're heading north. Um, yeah, stick with me, stay tuned. I'm gonna get geared up, head out onto the lake. See you then guys, cheers. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're out here, we're on the lake. As you can see behind me, I've got the sled out here. Just kind of starting to get set up. I got a hole drilled, I've already marked a few fish. Came right up, gave me one quick tap, and that was about it. But uh, marking fish, I'm gonna get set up here on this spot. We're gonna hang out for a little bit. We got the sleds, so we might uh, we might jump around a little bit later. If we don't mark too many fish there's a little bit of deeper water out that way so i might head that way out past those other huts off the point of that island i'm after walleye today we're gonna get you guys set up and uh i'm gonna get set up stick with me stay tuned enjoy this time lapse guys cheers missed one there guys he's still there we'll get him here he comes
Got him. Had him. He'll come back. I'm just going to set that rod up. Kind of rocking a dead stick, and then I got my other rod here for a jigging rod. You guys can see that. Here he comes, he's back. Get ready here. It's all over it. There's the hit. Gonna let him eat it. We got him. Light bite, light bite. They're just picking it up. I may have got stripped. Let's have a quick check. There's fish around here, which is good. We've got a minnow. We're rocking that reaper that you guys see me fish in our perch fishing video the other day. This thing works really well for perch, walleye. It's kind of a, an aggressive tactic. It has a really nice action in the water when you're jigging it. We're back down. Let's see if we can call another one in here. I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna get reset up here and uh, turn the camera back on and hopefully we can catch that fish. Look at that, guys. We're out first walleye of the day. Just a wee little guy. I'm sorry I didn't get that on camera for you. That was fast and furious. We're going to get the this guy released. First one of the day. Hopefully a couple of more, some, some bigger ones to come. But uh, it's a great start. Here we go. We're going to release him here. Stick with me. Stay tuned. We're going to get another one on camera. Cheers. Hey guys, all right, another walleye coming on the screen here. Let's see if we can't pick this one up. Got a dead stick fishing over here in this hole. And then if I turn you guys around, over here, I've got a jigging rod. There's the setup. It's just me in the hut today. As you guys just seen, we already caught one. We're marking a few fish here. We're going to hang out, chill out for a little while. Alright guys, little update. Current time check for you is 12.04 p.m. I was uh, just texting one of my buddies, Mike. He runs a hut operation out here. He's actually out on the ice right now. So we're going to jump on the sled. We're going to rip down go say hi real quick. We're going to bring you guys along. The bite's kind of slow right now, midday lull. Yeah, so we're going to rip over and we're going to say hi to Mike and... Uh, See what's going on with those boys, and we'll be back to do some fishing. Stick with me, stay tuned. Let's go say hi to Mike. Cheers. Alright guys, we're back. Sorry boys. Uh, told you guys, buddy Mike gets out here on the ice. We came over. There's Mike there. What's hey, we got Mike here from On The Line Fishing Adventures. Yeah, Check buddy. him out. I'll link him down in the description below. If you guys are looking for uh, for an ice hut rental, he's located about an hour and a half north of Toronto, about 20 minutes, half hour yeah. north of Aurelia, yeah. somewhere in there. I'll uh, Like I said, I'll leave all his information in the description below. Cheap hut operation for you guys for day hut rental, 60 bucks for day yeah, hut 60 per, per person, minimum two. Minimum two, minimum 60 two per people. person. 
I got premium huts too, so that I got one with a smart TV, so you can watch YouTube, Netflix. Not that you're coming out here to do that, but it is nice for the kids because sometimes the kids want to go home early and you got the TV for them to watch. So it's it's good for them. You keep them out longer, which keeps you out longer to catch some fish. Right on. There you guys go. Fishing's been, uh, we're in mid-afternoon. Slow. What is our time check? Time check, 1226. So here's hoping in the next couple hours, bite picks up for the afternoon. But yeah, we're just hanging out, shooting the breeze, talking, fishing, hopefully catching some fish. We'll check in with you guys if uh, we get one on here in the next little bit. Cheers. Hey everyone, we're back here. Sorry I haven't been filming, the bite's been a little bit slow, but uh, we just landed our second walleye of the day. I'm actually on the phone with my granny right now. Shout out to granny, she's good luck. Landed us a fish. Hit the like button, share, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. There's more fish down there, so let's get down and see what we can do. I'm going to turn the camera around, give you guys a bit of a sonar view, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can catch a, catch a big keeper. This is just a little guy, we're going to let him go. And uh, stick with me, stay tuned. Hopefully some more walleye to come. Cheers. Hey everybody, we're back here at home, just hanging out in the garage editing some footage. As you can see behind me, this is Reggie. For those of you who don't know Reggie, this is my 2009 Ski-Doo MXZ Renegade 600. It's a uh, HO E-Tech. This puppy just purchased this in the summertime. Uh, my first snow machine, as some of you probably know from previous videos, I mentioned it. But yeah. Now that we've got some safe ice out on the lakes, I can uh, take the sled with me. So as you've seen, I had it out with me today. Uh, it was great. When you guys are actually seeing this footage, today is Wednesday. I went fishing on Sunday. So apologize I haven't got the video up sooner, but uh, it's going live tonight, Wednesday, Wednesday night. Uh, stick with me, stay tuned. Tomorrow I've actually got a fishing trip planned. Uh, me and Ty, who you've seen fishing with me in one of the perch fishing videos. Uh, we're heading back up uh, to the same lake I, I was on in this video uh, to chase some walleye tomorrow. Hoping that's going to be a great bite. There's a big storm rolling through right now uh, that's supposed to last until tomorrow morning, Thursday morning. Um, so hopefully that post storm front bite condition is hot and we can get on some nice walleye for you guys tomorrow. Um, so stick with me, stay tuned for that. Yeah, I was just going through some footage and realized because my batteries died out on the ice, I didn't film any kind of an outro for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video today of ice fishing. Um, sorry, uh, I've tried my best to get as much footage and the best footage I could for you guys. Um, I was slow on the camera with every catch. And then, as I mentioned, my last two, um, I ran out of GoPro batteries. So I'll make sure I have all batteries ready to go for tomorrow. Hopefully we can get everything on film. Um, I'm very excited for that trip. So if you guys liked today, hit that like button. Don't forget to share this video and smash that subscribe button to follow along. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who has supported me so far. We've got a couple views that are over, or a couple videos, sorry, that are over 360 views on them now. Um, that's incredible. Um, I didn't start this journey to become famous or anything like that, but uh, I, always, I had always said I should film my adventures because I've always got pictures to tell a story about, but it would be cool to have it on film to relive that again or let somebody else relive that moment with me. Um, so that's kind of why I started this journey. If it happens that this goes somewhere, um, great. That would be awesome. But right now, I'm just enjoying making the content for you guys. I hope you guys are, are liking what I'm producing and putting out for you guys. Um, yeah, I know in my last video, or 
earlier in this video, earlier in this video, I had mentioned that uh, I'm going to be heading north this weekend. Unfortunately, that trip has been cancelled. Uh, my plan was I was going to Sudbury to stay at my brother's house and go fishing for a couple of days with him up in northern Ontario. But unfortunately, that's no longer going to happen as he's fallen ill with the Rona. Yep, your boy got the coronavirus. He's got the coronavirus. So, hopefully, uh, that all works out well for him and we can reschedule this, this trip. We are planning on rescheduling. We, we want to do about three or four days of fishing. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be later in February or maybe beginning of March, somewhere in there. But tomorrow, we're heading walleye fishing. So, again, thank you very much to everybody who supported me so far on this journey. I look forward to producing some more great fishing content for you guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks again. Cheers.